Welcome to Classic Golf Clubs. First off, I apologise for putting the Masters in the title, but it seems to be all over YouTube at the moment, so I thought, why not? Anyway, I am playing with uh, Master Model Clubs, so quick review of the clubs, which were featured in an earlier video, uh, part one of this series. They are Uni Royal Woods, John Letters Master Model Irons, and a John Letters Caramia Putter. You can see those in part one, linked above. Here are the lofts for the clubs. Uh, the only interloper in there is the John Letters Fred Daly Master Model, which fills the gap between the uh, John Letters Master Model Forged, 9 iron and Wedge. OK, let's get to the course. Again, I'll be playing a, a bogey competition against the course par. Uh, the match play rules for that are shown here. My playing handicap on the yellow tees is 12, so I'll be getting shots on holes index 1 to 12. Having just got over COVID, I made sure I was well wrapped up on the course with four layers and a, a scarf as well. Um, the intention had been to play nine holes and see how I felt after that. Um, but as you'll see, uh, that didn't quite work out as planned. So let's get, uh, get things underway. First hole, um, I didn't film the tee shot as the first tee was quite busy and I also neglected to film my second shot, which was a shame as it was a very nice five iron to the green. So here I am, green in regulation and putting for a birdie. I do get a shot here, so I only need two puts uh, for the win. First one very close. So that's a tap in par net birdie and I'm one up. Second hole. Two was a little bit further back than normal. I hit a six sign, a little ungainly, but found the middle of the green. Again, it's a shot hole, so if I can get this down in two, I'll be two up. First put just went a little bit further by than I would liked. I should be able to make this one. But uh, I don't. So that's a bogey net par and a hole halved. On to the next one. I hit driver. Nice shot. Shot tracer didn't pick it up, but it was down the left, just on the edge of the fairway. And from there, I hit six iron, downwind and slightly downhill. And I caught this one really well, and it ran out 195 yards, which left me. Um, close to the green, just a 70 yard sand iron, but unfortunately I bladed it straight over the back. Not very happy with that one. So here I am, trying to get up and down for a half. Way too much on that one, and it's shot all the way across to the other side of the green. So I need to hold this for a half, as I don't get a shot on this hole. And as you can see, the put is woefully short on pace so just holding out now for my uh, score almost got that one but that's a three put double bogey seven on to the next hole side view for a change and I skied this one and it went about 122 yards I think now I'm trying a three wood Looking at the video, I'm standing far too far away from the ball, and I catch that one a little bit heavy, and it doesn't go very far at all. It leaves me 168 yards, and I hit a very nice five iron onto the green. Shot hole, so this put for the win. Not a bad effort. So that's a tap in five net four. On to the fifth. No shot, and I'm hitting the one wood. A little bit high again, but it did get some forward momentum on it, and that went 195 yards. Left me 149, seven iron. <clears throat> Just cut across that one a little bit and pushed it onto the mound right of the green. I chose the Fred Daly Masters model here, otherwise I might not actually get to use that one in the round. Um, 
and as you can see for my standard of chipping that was a pretty decent effort left me a long way from the hole though for, and I needed to hole this one for a half Cara mia my beloved putter that's a half and I stay all square onto the six hole I get a stroke here we're up on the ladies tee as they're doing some work on the yellow tee I hit nine iron but not very well and it didn't quite make the front of the green I took seven iron and put here but opted for the putter and that turned out to be a good choice as well it looks very close but it's actually about three feet away so I took my time with it As you can see it did its best to stay out but it did fall in so that was a, a three net two and a win I'm one up now another one from the ladies tee as again they're doing work on the yellow tee I hit three iron but not very well and into the right hand bunker <coughs> so I'm a bit close to the lip here I'm 150 yards from the green so I'm just trying to get it out really and I achieved that and left myself 70 yards from the green I hit a sand iron but for some reason it didn't record so now here I am uh, on the green in three putting for a par net birdie and it's in so that puts me two up well another leg's fallen off my new tripod so I'm going to call it a day there I had two puts for the uh, half there and one for the win. Luckily I made the win so I finished the match two up. Very pleased with that after seven holes. Um, yeah not a lot I can say really. I'm going to reply or return the uh, tripod or give some comments to the seller see if they'll refund my money. Let's just have a look at the condition of it. There you go. As you can see the legs have just snapped away completely very poor quality summing up then uh, the bogey match uh, I defeated the course being two up after seven holes when play had to be abandoned and my general scoring was better than I was expecting as well I had four pars two bogeys and one double bogey so I finished up four over pars I had three fairways two greens in reg and I had 13 puts so not too bad at all Finishing with today's classic golf tip then, uh, this is one that uh, Bobby Jones uh, was a big fan of, and that's when putting, keep your head down and don't be tempted to look at the hole or you might end up pulling the putt. There's several ways you can do this. Um, listening for the ball is uh, one classic one um, but probably the best one I find is to uh, focus on the ball and not move your head until you can see the grass where the ball was and that means that you've got to have hit the ball before you uh, look away. Right well thanks again as usual for watching hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. Bye!